This is the second part of the examples for section 1.2, where we're naming segments and rays. And we talked about segments and rays in vocabulary. If you have your vocabulary packet on, it might help to kind of go through that again real quick. Um, but if you remember, segments are parts of a line. Rays are parts of a line. So as I go through and we look at these examples here, Let's look at the first example. It says here, what are the names of the segments in the figure? So we're looking at this picture right here, and I need to name as many possible segments as I can. So we're gonna name, we're gonna name at least five of them. So remember, segment has a starting point and it has an ending point, and it's not, nothing outside of that. It's only everything in the middle. So what I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna take this letter D. I'm gonna use that as my starting point, and I'm gonna use F as my ending point. So my first segment that I'm going to name is segment DF. And if you remember, on the top of the letters, there has to be a line on top, like so, on the top of your two letters. So line DF, segment, or line segment DF. That's one possible answer. I'm going to also choose... Uh, let's start with D and let's use D. We're going to go from D to E. And again, the key is the notation on top. And then we're going to go from E. Let's start at E. We're going to go from E to F. That's a line segment. Again, as you're looking here from E to F, that would be a line segment. And again, I can obviously flip these around letter-wise. So we can go E to D then as well, line segment. And then we're going to go from F to D as well. So those are all line segments, starting at one point, ending at another, only in between those two points. Okay. So what are the names of the rays in the figure? Letter B. So remember, if you remember a ray, it has a starting point, but it doesn't have an ending point. So the key here is that you pick one of the letters and then you pick a direction you want it to go. So for example, uh, let's start with E, okay? So I'm gonna start with E and I wanna go to the right. So I wanna start as my end point as E and I wanna go towards F, this ray right here. So as I were to draw this out, I would start right here on E and I would Okay, so I would start right there on E and go towards F, which would mean then that my ray's name, okay, my ray's name would be, the end point would be E, that's what I have to put down first, the, or the starting point would be E, and then I went towards F, and if you remember, your notation, there's always an arrow on the right, on the top. Okay, so let's go back and let's start at E again and let's go the other direction. So if I start here at E and I go the other direction, I go back towards D, that's another ray. Again, my starting point was E. I went towards D in that direction. But again, even though that's going left, I always put an arrow to the right. Okay, let's pick out one more starting point. So let's start at the letter D. So I'm going to start at D. That always goes first. And then if I start at D, let's pick out one of these letters. And it doesn't matter which one you pick. Uh, let's pick F. So Ray D, F. Okay, Ray D, F. And then let's do one more. Let's use F as a starting point. Okay, F as a starting point. And I'm going to go from F right here. Start there. And I'm going to go backward. I'm going to go to the left. Let's go from F to E. So let's count our ray as F, E. But again, you'll notice the first letter on all of these rays are their starting points. Okay. All right, letter C. Letter C, it asks, which of the rays in part B are opposite rays? If you remember, opposite rays have to have the same starting point and they're going in opposite directions to form a straight line. Well, the only way you can have <clears throat> opposite rays in this case is if you start with the middle guy, okay? So the opposite rays here are E, and I go towards F, and again, as we, if I were to show this to you here, it would be if I go from E to F, like so, 
okay, e to f, or I start at e and I go to d. So I have e to f and e to d. These guys are opposite rays. Both of them started in the middle in this case. So when I started here, these guys started e and I went to f. That's one of the rays. The ray opposite of that has the same starting point, which is E, and I went to D. And you'll notice if you put the red and the blue lines together, they create a straight line. Okay, So complete the examples here on part two in Class Kick.